This is part four of how to make a simple Wordle clone in App Lab. In the first video, we set up our screens in the design tab. In the second one, we made the color coding of the buttons work like, like this or like this. So that yellow would be it's the correct letter but in the wrong spot. Green is the correct letter in the right spot. And gray means it's completely the wrong letter. In our most recent, in the third video, we added in how to actually get the letters into the boxes and how to have a list of what you've already uh, tried to guess down here. So these are the previous guesses. I have two or three things I want to clean up with what I did in the last level. Uh, here's the first one. Whenever I type a guess, uh, like, uh, candy uh, and I get my result up here when I go to type my next guess I have to backspace this word out which is kind of annoying uh, before I can put in my next guess that's too many letters but anyway you see the point you have to backspace that out every time I'd like for that to not happen so here's what I'm gonna do right when I click the button I'm gonna clear that blank out I'm going to set the property I guess I need to get the value first as guess so after the get, I'm going to set the uh, input text to just empty quotes, like this. So now when I type candy, uh, that guess goes away. Now I have a few more problems from the last, from part three of the video, and they all have to do with this little area where your guess letters are. First problem is it's too small, I can't read it. So let's go to design mode, click down here, and let's increase the font. Okay, that'll take care of problem one. Uh, now, another issue we have down here is if I type candy again, and it puts the letters I've guessed down here below, notice how it's got a comma before the first one. Okay, it took me a second to figure that out, but the comma is coming from these quotation marks right here. So the first item in the list is empty, so I need to get rid of those quotes. So we need to take those two off, and if you're using block mode, this is gonna throw an error, you need to hit this little left. So that there's actually not a space, there's not anything, it's just square bracket open, let me zoom in so you can see it, square bracket closed, just like that. Okay, let's do it again, type candy, and now you can see that's working the way I want it to. Let's go ahead and say when you guess the letter correctly, we're going to put some little image in here as like a little winner screen. So back in design mode, let's drag image over here and make it fill up whatever empty space you've got left. And then because we don't want it to appear at the very beginning, well actually let's do this first. Let's first pick whichever image we want to display. I'm going to go with a smiley face. You can choose a color. All right, but I don't want that to be seen at the beginning, so I'm going to check this little hidden box. So when I hit run, I'm not going to see it. It's there, but I can't see it. So then in the code, I'm going to add another if, probably right here before the for loop, and I'm going to say if the guess equals the answer. I don't have to check individual letters for this one, I can just check the whole thing together. If the guess equals the answer, then I'm going to set the property of that image. Set the image's uh, hidden property, which is currently true. It is hidden. I'm going to set it to false. All right, so when I hit run, you cannot see the image. If I type in the wrong one, coder. You still won't see the image, but if I type in the correct one, which is codes, then the smiley face will appear. Okay, we'll leave it at that for this one. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to add how to count the guesses and work on a few more cleanup items. Stay tuned for those things. And then in the last video, I'm going to show you how to pull uh, from a giant list of words so that you're not just doing the same word every time. It'll truly be random.